Homecoming Revolution is the brain gain company for Africa since 2003. We are a recruitment firm for global Africans and we hold international events where we encourage Nigerians, Kenyans, South Africans living in the UK and the USA to come back home to Africa. Well, the brain gain is the reverse of the brain drain. Um, and in South Africa alone, we're sitting with 800,000 scarce skill vacancies, which means that we really do depend on that scarce skill talent. South Africans who've left the country and are now living abroad, we need them to come home. We need them to um, have the attitude of not waiting until it gets better, but coming home and making it better. Um, as far as how we've been received, you know, you will always have a love-hate relationship with your homeland, whether you're returning to South Africa or Kenya or Nigeria. Um, so we say to people, trust that feeling. Come home, make a difference. What you're doing when you come home will really be building the economy and changing lives. Um, plus, it's the perfect place to bring up your children, close to grannies and grandpas close by, um, great weather, um, and certainly challenges. But those challenges are exactly the opportunities where your skills will make a real difference. So certainly the idea of um, perception around the continent, um, you know, often it's the, the bad stories about what's happening in Africa that lead the headlines as always. So our mission in a big way is to tell the good stories of what's actually happening. We do a lot of storytelling of people coming home and um, the good bits and the bad bits and how happy they are for being home. Um, obviously other challenges are really around the perception of um, will I have as, as an exciting a career when I return home? Um, so we're changing a lot of those perceptions with a lot of our events, with a lot of our storytelling. Um, sometimes it's easier, you know, your lifestyle might be easier if, you, if you're living in the USA, for example, and returning home to Nigeria, it's a challenge because the electricity doesn't always work, um, the, the infrastructure isn't as sound. However, when you look at many Nigerians who've come home, for example, they are so happy to be back and they feel like they really are leading a significant life where their careers are actually building roads or creating electricity, that it really is fulfilling. So the number one reason for people returning home is friends and family. Um, the trigger points are when people are you know, getting to their early 30s, mid 30s, either wanting to get married or having just got married or having first or second child, realizing that actually they want their kids to know their roots, they want grannies and grandpas close by. So that's the number one trigger. The second one is this idea of belonging and, and, and making an impact. Um, and that's very exciting for us because the opportunities we show um, in the different job opportunities really are jobs where you are building a bridge that might not have been there before, where you are you know, helping to finance a deal where there's a new health um, program being put into place. Um, the third reason in South Africa is the lifestyle, so it's the weather and the ease of living. You know, we, have it, we do have a, a great lifestyle here in South Africa. Um, in Kenya and Nigeria, the third reason is the exciting career prospects. Um, number four in South Africa is career prospects too. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mainly an emotional family reason for wanting to be back and actually living a life of success and significance, um, which are the main drivers. So we've had a great year, you know, despite, you know, the challenges our continent continues to experience. We've had a really exciting year. We had a big event in London, our, our big flagship event every March. We had Tuli Madonsela on our stage and Musi Maimani talking about um, the visionary potential for the continent and what can be done at home. And um, we had a very exciting event in New York. Um, where we brought together a whole lot of Pan-Africans in Times Square um, and they were all very excited about coming home. Um, we then in September launched officially as a Pan-African recruitment firm with the um, hiring of Faye Condi, one of our director and shareholders, who is a seasoned recruiter across the continent. Um, and generally enjoyed a larger audience, a wider audience. Our database continues to grow. We're sitting at 44,000 um, Pan-Africans here and abroad who are interested in our messages. Um, and another highlight has been the number of clients that we've been working with. So we've been working with um, all the banks, all the audit firms and consulting firms, people, firms in IT, in construction, in engineering, um, really, and in health. Um, a major highlight has been helping companies on the continent find the best talent and bringing them home.